Hey guys, welcome back. Well, how do you make your photos look great on Instagram? Well, we're gonna jump into Lightroom and I'm gonna show you. Here we go. Okay guys, here we go. So we're in Lightroom and this is a picture that I shot a while back and I want to get it ready so I can upload it to Instagram, okay? So uh, you can see that I'm in my library tab. This is the only uh, image that I loaded. So we're gonna click on the develop tab and there we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the top at the basic setting right here. And the first thing we're gonna look at is obviously color or black and white. I'm gonna leave it in color. And the white balance, I can leave it as shot in camera or I can adjust it. If I want to adjust it to daylight, what it will basically do is it will change the light value in uh, Kelvin. Uh, I think uh, midday is something like 5,500 or so. And actually, yeah, there you see it, that's the temperature. Uh, as I change that, I can go to uh, cloudy, I can go to shade and so forth, but I like to do this manually, okay? So I'm gonna go back to as shot and I'm gonna bump that up manually until it looks good for me, okay? Tint, I'm not gonna play with that. Uh, you can sometimes do that if you, for example, have a scene that you want to look a bit cold, whatnot, uh, you can kind of push that back a little but I'm gonna leave that alone, okay? So I'm just gonna hit Control Z to go back. And then we're gonna look at our exposure. Now we've got our histogram up here. You can see that as I move this to the right, it will be blown out. And we kind of want to get that in the middle. So I'm gonna go somewhere around here. And what you can also do, a little trick, is hold down Shift and double click. And as you do that, it will jump to a setting, you know, that it's okay with. Now I want to bump up the contrast a little bit because I want to see some nice sharp lines and then we're going to go to the highlights the shadows and so forth now, there's quite a lot of light information here the light flowers so let's see how that pans out you can uh, push that up you see that as you push it down you see the details in the flowers popping up a bit more so again i'm going to hold down shift and i'm going to double click and as you see this is the proposed setting let's try that with the shadows as well and I want that to be a bit darker, so I'm not gonna go along with that. And then we got our whites, and we got our blacks. Now I'm gonna push this down a little bit. And a lot of this is, you know, personal preference, okay? Now, I always like to bump up the clarity quite a bit. I think that looks cool. Don't go nuts on it. If you push it all away, you're gonna lose a lot of information. So let's do something like this. And then again, depending on your personal preference, you can go uh, very high on the vibrance like this. I'm not gonna go too high. Let's do something like so. And then the saturation, basically push it down to black or white or you know, way too much color. Let's go with this, okay? Then we got our tone curve. And as we go in there, what we can do is we can uh, pull on the curve right here and adjust manually if we like so and like so and what you're doing is you're taking the darker values and the light values and you're adjusting them okay all right let's go down to uh, let's see uh, lens corrections well that kind of depends on how you shot your image uh, first of all you can remove chromatic aberration which is basically a, a color lens distortion uh, that you would typically see in edges and so forth don't see a lot going on here, but I'm going to select it anyway. And uh, then we have a profile connect, uh, corrections that you can turn on, uh, where you can basically select the lens that you have used for this shot. I used a, a Canon lens, and I don't really see a lot of change here. Let's see. Yeah. You can see that the shape or the distortion is taken out a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'm uh, basically okay with uh, what this is looking like. So it's uh, ready to export. So I'm gonna go up to uh, File, Export. I got a preset going on on my desktop called Untitled Export. Uh, so that's where I'm gonna send it to. Uh, let's see what else we need to do here. Not too much. Uh, I'm not gonna do any file renaming, so I'm just gonna turn that off. It's not a video. As far as uh, file settings are concerned, quality set to 100% and I want it to be exported as a JPEG, okay? So let's see what else. Um, you can uh, resize the image if you like. I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it like this. If you want to optimize it, you could go in and then you can change the pixel size, uh, but please make sure you keep the same ratio, okay? Right, what else? Well, I got it at 118 pixels. 
uh, if you're going to use it online, you know, somewhere 70 to 100, let's say, if you want to use this for print, go uh, something like 300, all right? Now, obviously, I don't want a watermark, so I'm just going to hit export. Okay, so now I have this uh, image on my desktop and it's uh, ready to go for Instagram. Just to show you uh, quickly the difference between our starting point and uh, what we got right now, I'm going to hit the Y on my keyboard. And here you will see the original on the left and you will see the edited one on the right. I think there's a uh, quite a difference so hopefully these uh, little tips help you a little bit to get your uh, images ready for Instagram. Okay. Well, that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.